Now, as you can see, the beautiful deer have congregated into the yard, which is a rare once in a lifetime opportunity. Oh, son of a bitch. Raise your hand if you know what these are. Raise your hand if you think that these are just gimmicks. So these are the two dash gauges that come with the Mustang GT Performance Package Level 1 and I imagine also the Level 2. So my guess is about 95% of the guys and gals who drive this car don't really fully understand what these are and they just think that they look cool. On the left hand side you have the oil pressure gauge and on the right hand side you have the engine vacuum gauge. So the purpose of this video is not to get too technical. We're not gonna go into detail of every single thing that these things do, but it's enough to let you understand what they do and to be able to explain it to your passengers, AKA chicks. Yeah, you know what's up. All right, let's get to it. I hope that you can see this. Um, if not, subscribe so I can get a bigger monitor. Now, if you drive your car like a granny, this may not apply to you. They actually make cars for that. They're called Camaros. Just kidding. Um, we are all car guys and gals. Much love to our Camaro brethren and sistren. Now, if you actually drive your Mustang the way it was meant to be driven, these two gauges, the oil and the vacuum gauge, are invaluable diagnostic tools. So the first one up here is the oil pressure gauge. Now, the oil pressure gauge is a straight up diagnostic tool. Think of oil pressure just like the veins in your body. If you spend all day eating yum circles, energy drinks, and protein shakes, your veins are gonna get clogged and you're going to need a gauge. Now it's the same for your car. You don't properly maintain your engine and there's gonna be consequences. Now the oil pressure measures the amount of pressure of the oil that's flowing through your engine and it will tell you readings are, that are in high, medium, or low, or anywhere in between. It's as simple as that. Now, the first condition that we're going to look at is if your gauge is broken. You could get too low, you could get too high, etc. Uh, basically, it's the most simplest thing, so I had to throw it out there. Your gauge might be broken. Another one is that you might need oil. You don't have a lot of oil pushing through your system and therefore your gauge is reading low. You done bought too many mods and your broke ass didn't get the oil changed and now the oil is broken down. It's lost its viscosity and now it's like water flowing through your engine with metal parts scraping against metal parts and that's not good for anybody. Which leads me to my next point. Worn bearings. Your reading is gonna be low. Basically, because you didn't change your oil or didn't change the filter, little pollutants or particles of metal or particles of dirt have gone in and they've ground down the bearings and now the rest of the engine isn't getting enough lubrication and the engine may break down and blow up, basically. And another one is just as bad as when you have too high of a reading and you could have a clogged filter or a clogged gallery and that would also result in not enough lubrication going to the engine and the engine getting messed up. Another simple one if you get a low reading is that your oil pump could be simply broken. So in summary, some of the things that could be going wrong that you can diagnose with your oil gauge uh, is the gauge is broken, you need oil, um, you have worn bearings, or you have uh, a, a blocked gallery or, or filter or, or nozzle that sprays the oil in your cylinders, for example, um, or you simply have a busted oil pump. There are a few other things that could cause these, but um, in short, if you see any of these things, stop the car and get it towed to a mechanic because you're going to mess up your car if you don't. So here's where it gets more technical, but I will share some examples since manliness is at stake. Now the vacuum gauge is one little gauge, but it can tell you a lot. And it can also tell you precisely where the problem is, such as sticky valves, worn rings, leaky head gaskets, weak valve springs, and more. So the engine vacuum gauge not only looks badass, but it is badass. 
Firstly, the meter is read in inches of Hg, aka mercury. It is the pressure exerted by a column of mercury one inch at the standard acceleration of gravity. Okay, so firstly, the normal reading. Anytime the gauge is between 17 and 21 inches, or around there, it could be 8 and 22 inches, um, the engine is operating normally. Now, if you're in that normal range and you say 1 inch to 2 inch fluctuation um, back and forth, then that could tell you that you have an ignition problem. Now, you can go online and see a list of things that you can check, such as spark plugs, etc. Uh, but this is not engineering explained. If you want to have smart stuff like that, you go to him. I'm just trying to share with you the bare minimum to get by, just like I have my whole life. You're welcome. Okay, next we have, uh, if you see a fluctuation of like three to four inches, that could mean that you have sticky valves. Okay, so now we're going to talk about a 3000 RPM test. If you slowly increase your throttle to 3,000 RPMs, then the vacuum reading should be about what it was at idle. If you increase the RPMs and the vacuum drops, then you could have an issue with exhaust back pressure. So basically, some squirrel crawled up your car's exhaust and died, and now you have to deal with it. Stupid squirrels. So once again, the vacuum gauge can tell you a number of things, such as you have worn rings, weak valve springs, ignition issues, etc. And it's an invaluable tool for those of us who drive our Mustangs as they were meant to be driven, hard. If you like this quick instructional video, then hit that subscribe and there'll be more to come. All right, more later.